Those sharp words have stalled a potential plea bargain, one that could end the J.C. Dugard kidnapping case. News 10's George Warren joins us with a story tonight. George? Details emerged today of a crime we hadn't heard about before. Nancy Garrido sat in the back of a van in 1993, luring a five-year-old child into the van while she recorded a sexually suggestive videotape for her husband. The district attorney released that bit of news to counter any criticism that he lacks compassion. Nancy Garrido's attorney, Stephen Tapson, started the debate over compassion in the DA's office a little over two weeks ago. Nancy, he said, had confessed and would plead guilty if the DA would show just a little compassion. Unfortunately, the quality of mercy is strained in El Dorado County, so as of the moment, the current officer offer is 241 years, eight months to life. Tapson's remarks two weeks ago clearly hit a nerve with District Attorney Vern Pearson, who rarely talks to the media about the Garrido case. Pearson chose to let a news release do the talking for him. Perhaps my alleged lack of compassion comes from my awareness of many disgusting facts concerning Nancy Garrido's personal involvement in this case, Pearson wrote. The DA reminded everybody that it was Nancy who actually pulled J.C. Dugard into the car in 1991 and kept her imprisoned in their backyard, even when her husband was sent back to prison for over a month in 1993. Not only was Nancy Garrido directly involved in the kidnapping of J.C. back in 1991, but she actively participated in videotaping young children before and after the 1991 abduction, Pearson wrote. So, having viewed all of the evidence and videos in this case, I will answer Mr. Tapson's question. No, I do not think that Nancy Garrido deserves my compassion. The husband of a previous Philip Garrido rape victim agreed. Absolutely. She should stay in jail the rest of her life. Just from what she did the very first day, she should get a life sentence. Now, there could still be a plea agreement worked out before the Garrido's next court appearance, April 7th, but don't expect it to be one that shows much compassion towards Nancy Garrido. Dale.